So, yes, finally, 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 throw a quest back when you're like, what? Of course, joking about videos, yeah. Um, mine's, you know, if right now, just because, you know, daytime and stuff like that. Of course, my little just open the blinds, throw right over there, typical stuff. So, of course, though, yeah. Please, a new new slash info, of course, for um, the part two for the anniversary. Take the part three in as well, because that the last stream, again, nothing like really crazy got revealed. We got the next LRs, of course, confirmed. You guys saw on thumbnail, tells us about that, all these really crazy LRs. They are, but for the longest time, though, everybody and their mom just wanted these LRs, but I feel like. I know a lot of people are still having this. Um, I feel like, you know, a lot of people still want Broly and, like, you know, Mega, because at this point, I don't know what they're waiting for. For Mega, it does make sense. I think it makes sense to LR, LR, Duck Fest. Since you're on Ghost of Mega, Retro Little Mega, I can't make, I don't know, they tend to do that anyway, though. He's, like, really good animation, though. So I kind of get why, because, again, even though I'm everybody, like, 50 year, everybody wanted Duck Wilson with Broly as an LR, like, this year. Again, we didn't really get that, though, as well, though. So, um, yeah, though, of course, we did get some new info, info in Flu, and my lips gonna like it kind of pause for a second though. For the part three stuff, of course, the easy A, simple cool stuff, vlogger bonus, the co op campaign. Again, very, very simple stuff though, of course. I kind of spoiled everything, not everything though, but I pretty much got everything kind of down back in the video though. So, yeah, of course, gonna go with info for the units as well. I was like, I might as well make this, this into one video. There really is no point making this as every video just because I would, but it's also like. Really, whatever. I really don't need to do in this separate video. It's just here right now. So yeah, of course, part of the missions are right here. Um, of course, um, we have call out campaign missions right here. Very fresh simple stuff. Of course, this is the um, new easy area. Of course, for all the new um, new, new anniversary units. So again, like I said, and they just look really can run everything. Of course, again, it was obviously they're going to be easy as anyway. Get like last year for you to stuff like that. Again, last year we got just like. What three or four, like what three play units though, too? So it's insane. Yeah, because we had Roshi, they have three free play units, I think, right? Yeah, you are good. No, you are good because he's easy. He was a little, never mind. He was a the physical you for last year. He did get his easy A. And, you know, he was like a really old unit anyway, though, so it doesn't really count kind of for him now, but whatever it's about for you guys. So, of course, yeah, though, of course, um, easy A is the typical stuff right here. Um, like I said, though, really wasn't the whole point making this into the whole video, just breaking down everything. I'll get used to make two videos out of this, just whatever. I'm gonna go the units anyway, though, of course. Of course, then we have, um, uh, the, it looks like all these Indians and stuff, but that's very, very typical and simple. Um, what was this one? Um, of course, our new LRs here, Kyle King, Goku, and Great Vegeta! We finally got them as LRs, guys! Woo! Come on, let's go! Woo! Oh. I was kind of excited a little bit, though. I was like, okay, Kyle King, Goku, and, um, Vegeta really wasn't that, like, surprising. It, again, again, even the title screen teased them as well. It was very simple, very easy to go over them, even for the title screen. I was like, yeah, because I was like, they haven't done, like, a regular Goku and, like, you know, Vegeta. Like, I had a feeling it was going to be that, just because Saiyan Saga in the beginning, you know, Saiyan Saga, Goku and Vegeta in the title screen for part one. I'm like, yeah, definitely that's going to be the part two LR. Kyle, Kyle can go through and, you know, great Vegeta. It was a meme for a long time. Everybody and their mom was going crazy. It's still going to be a meme now. Like, if they're into stones, that's never going to end. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's um, kind of crazy right there as well. Again, like I said, very good card, though. Goku and you know, Vegeta's TR is kind of like a little bit of a though. But Goku still looks pretty, very simple. Again, Goku does an active skill for, I think, um, the Spirit Bomb, it seems like that, I think. And, of course, Vegeta goes great. It was like the, um, you know, Rage Mode kind of turning thing. So, of course, going to go over the info really quick because we got the info from Gresh. Uh, again, like I said, I just kind of, you know, all this anyway though so i just kind of like zoomed in and got all the info so yeah let's go of course to get started though of course so for Vegeta, he does i'm going over Vegeta first because this is how i uh, screenshot it just you know it felt stuff like that again very simple very easy and stuff like that of course but yeah um i did screenshot Vegeta first i'm gonna go over Goku's next and talk about the units and stuff like that of course like i said very very short video probably so yeah uh, so for great Vegeta, of course he needs a tech unit uh so yeah extreme tech who i didn't believe it was gonna be tech anyway though goku was gonna be like i don't know like physical or like str it was just kind of really just obvious anyway though so yeah i think ago because ago streaming ago could probably use some minutes but stream tech again has been being done so much already though at this point though so no really cares so it is in human deeds or graded categories to keep four everything at 150 no double leader skill sadly though but that's still good that's still because even human deeds and great apes could use that more help though it's really good though again in the human deeds leader we definitely need that though of course it's up key raise step for in turn cause the cost damage um his 18 key make cost of damage to all enemies okay oh, yeah, he's aoe it's gonna be another oh yeah he's a tech he's the first ever tech aoe for world tournament my yeah, cause he has, he, yeah, he's the first ever tech AOE for the World Tournament. Oh dang, that's gonna be trouble for, um, what, um, AJ over Gita and Nap, because they're, being, they're basically all the best World Tournament units just because they're gonna walk with the whole field, but then on top of that as well, they're gonna be really good because there's no tech units for World Tournament. Now we got a tech unit for World Tournament, whichever the one's gonna be using it though. But it's gonna be good though, he has, he has um, pretty good um, healings and everything, of course, though. so, um, yeah, though, of course. 
Um, so yeah. Uh, let me see. I also imagine. Okay, so yeah. Uh, passive does, um, of course, performs um, entry animation, so entry animation basically. Uh, key 3 attack was, key 3 attack was um, 60%, pretty good. For the rest of um, battle, and for the rest of battle, holy crap, it's insane. It is an enemy who has Goku, um, of course, if you're fighting Goku specifically, just for Goku. Again, that's half the game right there. Um, but that defeats, you know, guaranteed crits against any Goku pretty much in the game, besides, of course, the typical ones we don't do that are. And I actually Goku like Ginyu and Ginyu, typical stuff, of course. Yeah. Um, Q3 attack defense plus 100% during those when uh, mirrors are good. Q3 attack defense plus 100% gains additional attack defense plus 50% when they're performing the super attack. Gains another um, additional defense of 60% when doing ultra super attack. Guard, uh, 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 guard, guard active gets all attacks, gains attack, uh, gains additional Q3 attack plus 30% for um, once. Yeah, for the turn once guard is activated. So once he gets guard, he'll give himself another key three attack for thirty percent. So he is giving himself just key attack defense, which is really good because the video definitely does need it in AoE usually do give himself a lot of key and attack defense though. So yeah, it's really good for Vegeta. He's actually pretty solid though. Again, I feel like he should just have guard automatically though. That obviously would save him a little bit though. But give him a lot of keys really good because he doesn't his killings kind of do stuff though. Of course, um it would turn from the great HP for himself as well. So we'll tournament boom, we can cut that out though, of course. I'm just kidding, of course. But, Man, you know, it may be seen with Grand Bolt Tournament though, that's just a kind of a chance to go on and stuff like that, of course. Uh, links are, let me zoom in real quick. Um, Sand Warrior Race, Royal Lind, he has a lot of links. Over 9,000, uh, transformation, uh, giant transformation, the problem. I'm not saying Sand Warrior, but the giant transformation, like. Uh, Sand Warrior Race, he's trying to limit legendary power. Again, links suck. Like, his links, which are also. His categories are insane though. So he does, uh, for his categories, it's human, it's human needs, grade eight power, pure science. Um, I say Shadow Limit. Um, Dragon Ball Seekers, Vegeta Family, Vegeta Families, because I think Vegeta did not have Vegeta Family, um, you have Vegeta Family, uh, Terrifying Conqueror, Space Army Warriors, Gifted Warriors, Planetary Destruction, Accelerated Battle, Faded Battle, uh, Giant Form, and Final Trump Of course, when he goes great, it's 12 keys to destructive damage, and it was 18 key, temporary, temporary raises attack, and causes destructive, destructive damage. Um, and he gets great, man, passive for great, but um, give himself five key. So the GS seems really disgustingly broken, though. But again, I feel like he just just should have auto guard anyway, though. That was it with save, though, because he gave himself a lot of key. He gives himself, he gives himself a lot. He gives himself a lot of attack and defense. That's actually really good. I'm, Vegeta's actually really good, though. I heard Goku's actually a little bit more disgusting. Then again, like I said, like down celebration, Gohan and um. Krillin seems really good. I mean, go, compared to them, like, really, they were disgusting, like, almost top five, maybe, for LR. Then I saw Goku and Vegeta. I was like, yeah, they suck. They don't suck. They're actually still good, but they suck compared to going to Krillin. That's how it was for Down Submission. But overall, right now, Vegeta, right now, actually, my reactions, he seems really good. Again, like I said, all you gotta do is give him, like, auto guard. It's pretty much all you had to really do for him. But otherwise, he's pretty good. Like, that's actually decently good, though, for him, though. So, um, yeah. It's actually pretty good. Of course, on to Goku now. Um, I love the Goku Zero Skill because he definitely is like a good combination for Lego Skill. So just find Trump card key three. Um, no, find Trump card key four. Everything got 150. Get 150. Okay, 160. I'm like, yo, Goku got that one for the W for the um, Lego Skill. Uh, 12 key does. Um, let me see, do this real quick. Right here. Oh, that's what I heard. Not really that. Um, so for Goku, his 12th key does attack defense for one turn, make a cost of damage. His 18th key does massively raise attack for one turn, cause make a cost of damage. As well, sacrificing 4% of your health as um, HP, HP as health as damage. 4% H, 4 of HP as damage. Okay, that's not bad. Who cares? This is just 4%, but that can't get hurt during like longer events, though, so of course. Um, his entry animation does extreme horror. Okay, okay, that's that. Uh, Okay, that's part. Okay, I, I gotta read on the passive though. Though, okay, let me let me re redo that though. I messed up there. Performs the dish, of course, does the intro animation. He does give himself key three in dang attack in attack with seventy percent. Rest of battle, face opposite Vegeta or yeah, fighting Vegeta, opposite of Vegeta. I think Vegeta got better with the attack and defense. I feel like Goku definitely does make sense because the Kaioken and stuff like that. But yeah, um, for rest of battle, attack with one hundred percent. Get the get. Dang, Q7 for four turns uh, for first appearance. Dang, that's insane. He has additional attack defense plus 59% with Mario Super Attack. He has another additional attack plus 59% with one Ultra Super Attack. Another other change is a type of key sphere other than STR to STR. Um, high chance of pulling a crate. Okay, this is actually not bad. Again, yeah. I think Goku got the W over the passive, but I think him and Vegeta is actually pro pretty good. I don't want to say that Goku is a little bit better. And passive wise, because again, he's gonna give himself a lot of key, a lot of attack, but again, he had to do a super attack in order to give him the full effectiveness of him. Otherwise, Vegeta doesn't, in Vegeta's case, he doesn't have to do that though. So it definitely does make sense there. But Goku's, again, I can't really say what, they're not bad, like they're both actually really good. 
I think Goku just gave himself a little bit more attack defense, and Vegeta's gonna do, again, like I said, probably doesn't, not, not as much damage, but maybe he can get on the damage caliber of Goku, but he has to get himself up a little bit, though. His active skill, of course, is Spare Bomb. Um, it would use it in AP 50 or below. Okay, Chaos Energy for Vegeta, okay. Again, this is an animation, it's so stupid, because that that's animation, we really want that as, like, the LR, like, you know. I mean, I mean, not the, I mean, the active skill as well, though, like, the LR thing, but, you know, Kremlin, uh, doing Spare Bomb while Go, uh, Gohan throws it back. I feel like that definitely could have been a, um, Definitely, definitely, that could have been a different animation, in my opinion. I think Truth said that as well. I thought God's book, I said that as well anyway, though. And it definitely does make sense, in my opinion, though. So, yeah. Um, what are his... Let me zoom all the way out real quick. Make sure I got nothing else on there. I don't. Of course. Then, last page for him. His links are Kamehameha, um, Saint Lineage, Orina Flash, and Z Fighters. Uh, uh, Shock and Speed, Shadow and Limit, Legendary Power, Skagros are all Strumple, Final Trump Card, Pierce Hands, Full Power, Luke's Family, Throw School, Bond of, uh, Bond of Friendship, um, Accelerated Battle, Faded Battle, and coming out. Okay, not bad. Again, him and Vegeta, again, I'm not gonna say they're both bad. I was gonna say Goku's a little bit more better, but he's all he's really getting more is so just a little bit more. He's, he's gonna give himself a key like Vegeta, but Vegeta definitely doesn't need a key because he just, his links suck, and I feel like they realize that. Um, and he did not have big bot bosses, which is really stupid because I think love the great Vegeta has it as well. Uh, they're probably gonna be best friends though, because that Vegeta's just. It might be Vegeta than like grade 8 Vegeta. Because they, they all have different names though, so they might actually be really good with the great Vegeta than the other great Vegeta. The AGL one is Tech Counterpart. Tech might be best friends in Vegeta and Nappa on the same rotation. That's actually really disgustingly broken though. So yeah, Vegeta, and again, like I say, if you want to make a comment be hot team, Goku's gonna be your guy. If you want to make a, a villain, you know, Saiyan Saga team with LR Vegeta and Nappa in like, you know, the Tech, the physical Galgun Vegeta, um, I don't know, Tech Raditz, um, like the other, you know, like the other, um, if you do from Devil Celebration, last year you could pretty much make a good film with Vegeta team like that's this Vegeta L Vegeta Nappa Physical Easy A A Grade A Vegio um I said Raditz and I said um not great Raditz they might not be really good but the tech Raditz is really disgusting good and I said the um into Vegeta from Down Silver. Yeah, you got your team right there. Goku just owns like Kaioken, Kami Hall. Like, you got a lot of Kaioken Goku's in. And it makes sense because every Kaioken Goku literally changes forms or something like that. I, I like how they actually kept that in his past. Like, they used to change forms or whatever, though. So, yeah. I can't say they're both bad. They're actually both pretty good compared to last year and stuff like that. Like, Golden Freezer 17. I guess 17 was mainly made for Junior for 7 units, and they need that team. So, it definitely does make sense. Then, Golden Freezer 17 like, really, weren't really that impressive to me. I mean, they were pretty okay. But compared to the uh, last couple years, I think the says he takes the cat. Like, they're both really good. I can't say they're both bad. Like, of course, Goku has like some maybe has like uh, Goku has many flaws. Um, I mean, of course, like you know, like you know, um, for Goku probably probably don't see any fault for Goku though. But yeah, he had to get multiple super attacks for him. Um, for him to like actually like, you know get like you know I mean he has a he has a built-in crit though, so it's actually gonna be really good. Bug our vents gonna do a lot of damage, but I think going forward is still probably your best bet. He already has built-in crit and everything. Plus again the more super attacks you get with him, you know, the more, more better he's gonna be. All the super attack, regular super attack and stuff like that is gonna be really good for Goku. Yeah, he's gonna play on Goku really well. Um his links are really good too, but Vegeta has a lot better he's gonna have a lot of teams with the categories he has and stuff like that. That's it's gonna be really good for him. And Goku, of course, that would be really good, but Vegeta just can't help out a little bit more just because the categories for his team need help. His little skills going to be really good. Those teams kind of need help as well. This pass is really good. Again, I can't really say both of them are bad. They're both actually pretty good. I'm impressed with both of them, um, in my opinion, though. They think they're both pretty good. Like, I, I can't really say anything, but they are going to be the part two LR, though, so there'll be a couple more days. I'll do a short on the banners to some, and you're definitely not some of these banners. Again, they're both actually really good. I think I'm really impressed with both of them. Like, Goku's going to be, you know, like I said, really good for like, longer events. Well, when that, because you have the crit, because you want to give him more super attacks and more super attacks to give him. High chance he's going to have the crit, he's going to do a lot more damage with his outputs and stuff like that, of course. And we just help out a lot of teams as well, just because it's category. I think we just help out a little bit more because it's categories. I kind of both even, I think we just up a little bit for me, just because the categories, his leader skill, and his, of course, like I said, guaranteed guards already really had to give him because he gives himself, um, Okay, he gives himself um he gives himself plenty, plenty of key and that helps him out really good, even if it's great, but stuff like that. But is really self sufficient for himself, like I said. Give himself a lot of key, which is really good, great teams that help. His leader skills gonna be good, his passive is gonna be good. Again, Vegeta's gonna help out on a lot of teams. And Goku's gonna be really good, like Goku's gonna be good on all his teams. We already know that anyway though. So um yeah, again, like I said, really, really crazy. Like the whole units are actually really good. 
I I can't say like they're both probably the best like you know maybe part two LRs, but they're both pretty good. Yeah. See, um, we're gonna end the video here for real. So yeah. See you guys later though. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. All good. Thank you. Make sure stay safe. Watch it. God bless. All we're going up on our mats. I'm talking about really cool. So what do you think about all those photos? Of course, like to hit it again. Like I said, I do like Vegeta. I think a little bit better, better than Goku kind of, but I think I like Goku's passive a lot more better. Just we know because Goku for him, he's gonna just do massive, massive output of damage, crits, additional attack, a lot of additional attacks. Um, again, you want to build him with full additional in that mind mindset because he is gonna have crit. And you build him full additional, just it is for I mean, let me go back. So for Goku though specifically, you'll go full additional. You're gonna get a lot of benefit out of those crits. You're gonna give himself a lot of attack defense. Really good. He's gonna be going for like some of all his teams. But just gonna be a lot, a little bit better just because all the categories for him. He helped. Good leader skill, good categories. Um, all you really need is infinite guard, but um, again, I kind of get why they did that though, because it gives some massive amounts of key, massive, massive amounts of attack defense though. So, yeah, you have the thumbnail up soon. You have the um, video up soon, as soon as I get this done, though, if I can't know who that is. But yeah, really good stuff though, of course. Though. So, yeah, see you guys later though. Okay, nope. Peace out.